We'll finish here. Remember that story when Jesus is, is coming out, walking with disciples, and he's from Mark, the gospel of Mark states that from afar, he sees a fig tree. Matthew doesn't say that, but Mark states that from afar, he sees a fig tree. And, and he states that, that Jesus is hungry. Matthew kind of makes it more compact, and he just says this, Matthew 21, 18. You have it said, now in the morning, early in the morning as Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Look what it says, Next, 19. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately the tree withered. You know what made Jesus upset? You know what made him upset? That the fig tree tricked him. He tricked him. Because it was doing something that only it should only be doing when it has fruit or when it's buried. It was full of leaves. So Jesus says, must, there must be some fruit there. I'm hungry. Let me just go get what I got to get. And sometimes we, we're tricking God to use us. Because we're telling him, use me, use me, use me. But we want to fake him out with leaves when he, what he's looking for is fruit. And, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we, 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 we try to cheat him and cheat ourselves. Because the reason why he went up to it is because, like, it must have fruit. It must have fruit. But then it saw that it didn't have it. He says, there's no point for this to be here. This tree, this fig tree serves no purpose. Because when I came to do something with it, it wasn't ready to be used. And, and many people are like that in church. God say, man, I, I, I took you out. I lifted you up. I pruned you. I've done everything. I put you in a place where you can, you can grow and, and be better and to give fruit. But, but, but you failed to abide in me. And so the moment God says, you know what, I, 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 man, there's a, I, want you, I want to use you for this. I want to use you for that. And he comes to us. And he's like, what is this? You're just full of appearances. You're just full of talk. You're just full of, of saying. You know how to speak well and do well, but, but what I'm looking for is fruit. You know, you're a false advertiser. You know what I mean? And so, I don't know about you, but I want in my life, every time God steps into my vineyard, he's like, oh, I like this. I like this. Look, look, what, look what you're doing. Look what you're bearing. Look what, man, I, your grapes are the best grapes. Your fruit is the best fruit. It's so good that I'm going to have others eat off your, off your fruit. It's so good that you're going to be desirable to everybody else around you. And they're going to want what you have. They're going to, you know. But we have to abide. We have to stay in course. We have to serve God with everything we have. We have to follow his command. We have to stop lying that we are in him and we're not. We need to do something about it.